Hello, hello, and welcome back to another training session on channel automation. This session, I want to talk to you a little bit about analytics. If you're on your dashboard and you have admin uh, rights on our system already, you should be able to see analytics over in the corner here. And this is what it looks like roughly when you'll click on it. Obviously, if you just started with us, your layout is going to be a little bit more blank. But as you gather data uh, by people getting sent messages and you receiving and responding to messages, this is going to be filled up. And so you can get a really good idea about how many bots that you have in your system. This is going to be your total bot users here. Um, this is going to be every single lead and prospect coming in. Your new bot users, which are going to be people that were added in most recently in the last 30 days. Your active bot users, meaning that you have had them engage with you or if you had a conversation with them. And your average daily. This is going to be people that um, are talking with your team on average. And so you can take a look at the graph here and see date by date where you have your spikes. And this is going to be really helpful when you're trying to think about, well, when's the best day to put out our marketing campaign for such and such a client when uh, we we want to target this and that, right? You, you can look at where the spikes are in particular days. So you could be like, okay, this is when the most people uh, day and time are going to be answering. You can also kind of track success of your campaigns doing this as well. So if you see a big spike on July 4th, you're like, well, what the heck happened on the 4th of July? For us, on our channel marketing bot, we sent out our uh, joke channel automation, a uh, little wishing you a happy holiday video, and those always do really well. So over here, you'll be able to see how many messages that you have sent out to people, how many received messages you got. These are all fairly straightforward. But all the analytics that you have in this whole area when you first click on um, are going to give you a really good idea about how well your workspace on channel automation is performing. Now, this area down here is usually when you have a bot hooked up to Facebook or other platforms that track this type of analytics. Innately, if you're only uploading information that contains a person's like product that they want or their email or their phone number, this data doesn't usually come along with that. Also, you can see how many channels that you have activity on. So for example, new users are coming into our SMS channel. We have new users coming into our voice channel. And then we have one that came in through our Facebook as well. So you can monitor your different types of bots that you have with channel automation over in this area here and see how many new people are coming in uh, depending on what timeline you chose in this area. So we have last week, basically like a last month, and then we have a this week, this month, last month, and last three months. We are going to be adding in more options on this drop down, and our analytics is constantly growing and changing and giving you more details on a case by case basis. Also, on your agent analytics, this is going to be a different area altogether. This is going to show you who is performing the best uh, in terms of what agents that you have on your system. Uh, this is going to be our just basic administrate uh, bot. Obviously, this one's performing the best because this is what we talk to everybody on. And so you can also see how much messages that person sent. It basically gives you like a big highlight of what this person's accomplishments are. And then it also shows you in order of uh, your... Um, your activity that your agents are doing on the account as well. You can see how fast it also takes them to respond to items. And so this is a good way to monitor your team if they're using the system, when they've logged in, when they've sent the most messages, as well as, you know, if you see that there's an agent that is sending more messages than others or your agents are not sending enough messages or you're thinking that seems like a low amount, they don't seem to be engaging, that's something that you can talk about with them and make sure that they are utilizing all the tools in a way that is going to be most effective to your conversion. So you can see the conversations we've had here, the spikes. You also can see what the average response rate time is. Obviously, if you have multiple agents on the system, you're going to be seeing a whole lot more analytics in this area. And the coolest part here is on this drop down, you can also see bot per bot what the analytics are for each agent and what the success rate and response rate is for each agent as well as 
who is communicating and how are things being communicated the most. So this all box area where you can choose company by company or you can choose territory by territory is going to give you a really good insight on performance. So between these two areas, your analytics is a, like more of an overview. Your agent analytics is a little bit more of a deep dive. You can get a good idea of how your workspace is doing and if you need to make any calibrations with our team. All right, so I will see you on the next training session and thank you again for staying tuned.